Hey, it's Parker again. Um, it's kind of weird for me to do two videos in one day, but uh, it's a little bit important. Um, I just went to the doctor. Um, I have a few health issues that I needed to get addressed before starting any sort of hormones. Um, I wasn't out to my doctor. I wasn't sure uh, what kind of reaction he would have, but today I decided that I was going to go ahead and tell him. And um, turns out he has a lot of trans patients, and I'm definitely not his first. So, on that note, um, I he will be the one to watch over me health-wise during my transition and to prescribe me um, what I need to to take um, hormone-wise. Um, if you watched my first video, you you uh, you would already know that I have. Um, some crazy neck enlargement. <laughs> Last week I went for a CAT scan with contrast, which was interesting. Um, basically, it's a CAT scan, um, but while you're getting the x-rays taken, you, uh, you're hooked up to an IV machine and they pump this weird dye um, into, your, into your veins and it's very uncomfortable. You can feel it kind of all over your body and... Uh, kind of made my heart rate go up a little bit and uh, it didn't feel good and I didn't like it at all but hey I got some results from that at least um, they were really concerned that it might have been cancer but that's completely ruled out now thank god uh, it turns out I have excessive lymph nodes in my neck and I've kind of had this lumpy shit um, my entire life like since I was young I remember having it and the doctors would look at it and they would just be stumped and they would just say, oh, it's just a goiter or maybe you have a thyroid problem. But I've had my thyroid checked so many times and there's nothing wrong with it. So um, I get this new doctor a few months ago or I can't remember when it was, but finally he's like, well, let's let's get you some tests. Let's figure this out because it's, it's not getting any better and... And no, it's not getting any better. It, it's it's getting difficult to speak. It's pushing on my vocal cords. It's pushing on my throat. Um, obviously, it's not a good idea to start testosterone until I have them removed, which I will as soon as I guess as soon as I can, um, because developing an Adam's apple, I'm sure, wouldn't uh, wouldn't be good for for my for my neck and uh, for my for my lymph nodes. Um, it would probably create more pressure and maybe I would develop more problems so I'm gonna go ahead and wait until till I get my uh, my surgery to remove them um, which is kind of shitty because here in Winnipeg sometimes it takes a really long time even to get surgery that's possibly life-saving I mean some people wait way longer than they should for heart surgeries brain surgeries you know all that jazz I'm really hoping that it'll come quickly because I'm getting kind of restless. Uh, I'm kind of sick and tired of this female voice. Uh, it's, uh, I'm done with it. Um, I find myself trying to talk at a lower octave now too, which is hard on my neck. I can feel it kind of pulling in my neck, um, which makes it difficult to talk and then I end up getting swelling. So. <sighs> I kind of just want them gone and I want to start I want to start hormones as soon as possible but I mean I guess we'll wait and see how long that takes I, uh, I'm ready to go but but I gotta I gotta do what's right and I gotta do what's good for me first full-time I'm full-time working on uh, my health um, they don't know yet because I have fibromyalgia and I have an autoimmune disease um, the doctor isn't too sure if some of my symptoms could be related to my lymph nodes. It could be uh, completely unrelated. But if it was and I got them removed, imagine how much better I'd feel. So either way, I'll feel a thousand times better without this massive mass in my neck. It's, it's pretty brutal. I can't even really touch it. it. It hurts. I don't know. I keep touching it. It's too much. I shouldn't be touching it. Um, crap, I had something else I wanted to talk about. What was it? Oh, right. I was also going to um, ask a question. I'm kind of concerned about um, hair loss. 
I've watched a lot of videos and like, you know, it seems like after five years or so, guys tend to start, their hairline recedes so, so far. Hair falls out a lot sooner. I'm wondering if there's a, if there's a way to um, slow down hair loss or if it has to do with genetics or if that's even known, if we even know, you know, if the testosterone directly affects your hairline or if it's kind of a genetic thing. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I already have kind of a receding hairline, sort of a, a squared hairline, like female hairlines kind of go like this, and mine goes like, like that. And that's because about two years ago, I started, um, <laughs> I started shaving my, my forehead. I've always been a kind of hairy person, so, um, like not, like just kind of on my head, and, and uh, that's kind of, yeah. I haven't really been a hairy person, I've just been, I've had a lot, I was born with a full head of hair. I was born with, you know, a, like a mohawk, like, it, it's kind of interesting, but, uh, yeah, so I started, I started shaving in, like, a square-ish type pattern, otherwise my hairline would be like that. I did that because I was, I was just sick of the female hairline, it, it took away from my masculinity and it made me extremely self-conscious and I wanted to have short hair and I, I always kind of put my hair in my face to sort of hide it and I was just sort of, I was just sick of that. I just wanted uh, to be comfortable. So two years ago, I started doing that and it's working, but sometimes I'll get, I'll shave too far up my head and I'll take off some of my hair and then I'll look like I'm balding until it grows back. But um, yeah, I was just wondering about, uh, about hairlines and what your experiences are with your hairline and what kind of changes you see and how quickly you see them and if you know of any ways to prevent or slow down hair loss. Um, I love my hair. It's a huge part of who I am. I think I would be devastated if I lost my hair in five years. I'd probably get like a transplant, but that's expensive and I don't think I can afford that anyways. I remember one time I was camping and uh, I went into the, this when I was still using the female, the girls washroom and I went into the, uh, into the washroom and I started shaving my head and, and a girl came in and she uh, was brushing her teeth in the mirror and she was just completely mortified. I'll continue to update on my me on my medical uh, excursions here. Um, I'm hoping that I can get this neck shit done with. I just I just want to start hormones. I just want to start transitioning. I you know you know how it is when you finally come out and you're finally accepting who you are if you haven't already. It took me a long time to accept who I was and uh, I just. I just want to, I just want it to happen, so, yeah, anyways, I should probably go, um, talking uh, irritates my neck sometimes, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna go, alright, see ya!